Well, I'd like to introduce you today to a program called Pisclite. And basically, it is a web interface uh, to Station Playlist Studio Pro. It's uh, brand new, just been released. Um, I've been sitting on it for a little while, but I thought I'd release it. Uh, it is basically just a web interface to uh, Station Playlist. And uh, the beauty of it is you can run this on multiple computers. Um, it's all coming off a web server, which is located on the computer that Station Playlist Studio is running on. So it's a uh, very easy to set up, easy to use, um, and it works. So let me just show you um, pretty much what it does. So at the moment, let's just hit reload on this. As you can see, just like in the program, you've got what's currently on air here, what's currently on here, here. Um, you'll see a talk break coming up next. And uh, this here is actually an estimate of the time that it should be going to air. Now I've actually already skipped a couple of programs in here. Um, so of course it's going to put this out of alignment. But that's the nature of how this works. Um, this is just a really rough guide. So for example, you can go back, you can have a look at what was scheduled to play. Uh, and you can also have a look at what's scheduled to play in the future as well. So that's where the um, purple is where it meets the road, I guess, when it's on the side of what it has not played. As I say, it's a rough estimate as well. But uh, let me show you how it works. If I just push stop here, you'll notice station playlist stops as well. If I push play, um, boom, off it goes on the next event. Same if I push next as well. If I do it again, here we go. And off she goes, triggering off the next one as well. So while it's kind of in manual mode as well, let's just push stop there. I think I'd rather have it in automation. So boom, automation, you see all the boxes tick there again. Um, and she's good to go. I've also got a pause button. If I need to pause the program, I can do the same thing as well. Um, and resume it. So it's a very, very simple interface. Um, just like Station Playlist. And while this is running in a, um, I'm connecting on another computer here through the Mac, um, on a proper box, I can also look at natively um, in the Mac environment as well. So once again, if I scroll down a little bit, move it down, you can once again see what's going on. This is native on the Mac. This is connecting via VNC, but I'll just push stop. As you can see, it stops there, it stops there, and it's all good. So push automation, off she goes, and we play again. Back up to the time that I thought it was meant to do, as what Station Playlist does. So next, I can go through them all as per normal. The other thing that uh, you can do is if you've set up um, the program to be streaming, so for example, I've got it um, set up a stream here locally. I can also listen on the web interface as well. So it uh, works pretty well. Um, but that's the short version of uh, what PISC can do. Makes it a bit easier than having to connect through VNC or connect to somebody while they're actually on the same computer using the studio computer so if you need to look at what's coming up so you can do your show prep or anything like that uh, you can remotely have a look connect to this web interface see what's coming up for your show um, and uh, yeah go for gold so as you can see it also shows up errors as well we just clear that and uh, keep an eye on everything so that's it that's piss light if you're interested let me know <laughs>